Welcome to Machiavellian Psychology, where we delve into the intricate art of influence and persuasion. Today, we explore a captivating chapter from Robert Greene's The Art of Seduction, Poeticize Your Presence. In a world where the ordinary reigns, the seducer stands up by transforming the mundane into the extraordinary. Poeticizing your presence is about creating an aura of mystery and enchantment that captivates and enthralls. Throughout history, legendary seducers have understood the power of a mesmerizing presence. They turned their lives into a work of art, leaving a lasting impression on everyone they encountered. But how can we apply this in today's world? It begins with self-expression. Your style, your speech, your movements, every aspect of your being should suggest depth and complexity. In poeticizing your presence, subtlety is key. It's not about grand gestures, but rather the nuanced and the understated. It's the art of being pleasantly elusive, leaving others yearning to know more. Like a master artist, you must craft your image carefully. Each detail contributes to the overall picture you wish to portray. Your presence should be like a poem, open to interpretation, yet deeply moving. Balance solitude and social interaction. In solitude, cultivate your mystique. In society, let your presence be felt, but never fully revealed. This dance between the seen and the unseen makes your presence magnetic. Remember, the goal is not to deceive but to fascinate. To poeticize your presence is to become an enigma, a source of endless fascination. In the art of seduction, your presence is your poetry. Write it with care, perform it with grace, and leave them longing for just one more verse. Subscribe for more on the art of influence and persuasion.